Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with the video give it a thumbs up like 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 the video bro we have a couple a couple of dope gaming news items for this video but the first one the timing could not be worse for Sony and the Xbox Series X actually too is affected. Bro, it's a global news item, but it directly affects gaming. So I have to talk about this first. We got a couple more dope news items in this video, but some of you guys may have heard of this huge ship blocking the Suez Canal. For those of you that don't know, the Suez Canal is a major shipping route linking east and west shipping lanes. And according to an article from Laptop Mag, this blockage could affect PlayStation 5 or delay even more PlayStation 5 shipments from coming to the West. This is what the article says and I quote, very high consumer industrial demand, a global shortage of container capacity and low service reliability from global container shipment companies has made supply chains highly vulnerable to even the smallest of external shocks. The timing of this event could not have been Worse, says analysts at Moody's Investor Services in this article. Bro, they're saying the shipment, this blockage is affecting one thing and it affects something else and it's sort of a domino effect that does ultimately slow down and hinder PlayStation 5s from being shipped out to gamers. We already know there's a global semiconductor shortage and play, both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X's. It's been harder to produce the consoles on top of this new news event. Just makes it even more difficult to get your hand on one of these, excuse me, consoles. I'm telling you guys, whenever you hear of shipment or stocks coming in, don't delay if you have the funds and you're trying to get one of these consoles, pick it up. Don't say I wait a month or whatnot because anything can happen as we see what's going on right now. And I think at the time of the recording of this video, that ship was still stuck in that critical global shipping route causing catastrophe everywhere uh, when shipping is concerned. Now, we have some catastrophic news and we have some pretty good news when it comes to availability of availability of PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series um, X's. PlayStation 5s and Series X's were available at Best Buy today. Today, at the recording of this video, I'm hearing that they are selling out. I forget which console has sold out already, probably PlayStation 5s. But the reason for me reporting this is to let you guys know the consoles have been coming into stock very frequently or more frequently in the last couple of weeks. Target just had a major restock. Best Buy just had a restock of both PS5s and Xboxes and Amazon. Amazon is expected to have more shipments coming in for this weekend. And so if you're trying to get a console, you just got to be out on the look. Uh, the ship blockage that I just talked about has affected sales, but you just got to keep looking and hopefully you can get 
one. Next news item. Xbox has just had their event, Xbox at ID, March 2021, and they showed off over 100 new games, indie games, and one highlight of this event is Game Pass will be getting 20 new games at launch. Now, most of the games may not be up your alley, they're indie games, but something is better than nothing, and they're free, included with your Game Pass subscription, uh, 20, 20 games at launch. And so Xbox has been making some aggressive and good moves, specifically when it comes to Game Pass. But I have to admit, and I tweeted this out on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at ob one Plays. They need to start announcing release dates for major AAA games, new games, not old Bethesda um, Game Pass games, new AAA games. Let us know when is Halo coming out, a, a launch date. We still don't have a release date. They said 2021, holiday 2021, no specific date. The next um, um, Fable, I know that's going to be years out, but even let us give us an update. Give us release dates. Sony is giving us release dates. Bro, we know when Ratchet Clank about to drop. We know Akina Bridge of Spirits going to be dropping. Or they gave us specific dates. Returnal coming out at the end about one month so we've gotten dates of their console exclusives xbox is behind the ball man they got to catch up so it is what it is bro next news item is pretty pretty dope we have the leaked next call of duty game and this one has me hyped this is the um, trailer for cold war but it looks like Call of Duty is returning to my favorite scene in the Call of Duty franchise, World War II. According to this leaked information, this is an article coming from GameRant.com. Um, according to the sources, the new Call of Duty is being developed by Sledgehammer Games, um, something Modern War Warzone also claimed last month, and is currently under the working title of World War II Vanguard. So World War II Vanguard is the code name for the next Call of Duty game. But just the fact that it will be in the World War II settings is 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 pretty dope. So I can't wait. Can't, that makes me probably actually want to do the actual single player campaign. Because I like that whole historical World War II setting. And so that's the next, the latest information on Call, on Call of Duty. This year on my PS5, I've gotten back into COD. I'll be here to miss, bro. Some games, I look like the best Call of Duty player ever. Some games, I look like I have nothing but potato aim. It is what it is. It depends on who you matched up with. But Call of Duty, I've been having fun with it on my PS5. Good to see we got more information on the game. Bro, speaking of games, Monster Hunter Rise is officially out. It has launched. I do have it on my Switch. I'm probably going to, I was thinking of streaming it, it, streaming it today on my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship, make sure you go and check out my gaming champ channel, or I might just wait my pro controller comes in tomorrow, I might just stream the game when my Monster Hunter pro controller comes in, so, um, but the game is out, fantastic, fantastic game, um, I love, love, love the demo, dope game. The only thing for me, and I said this again on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, the giveaways on Twitter too. Outriders comes out on the first. And I played that Outriders demo, bro. That Outriders demo was fire on the five on my PS5. So I will be playing Monster Hunter for the next week or so, definitely. Till Outriders come up come out then. Who knows what happens? I probably still will be on Monster Hunters though, because the game is good. It's a solid game. I can appreciate a quality third party game. This game was made from the ground up for the switch hardware and you can tell by how it runs that they really took their time with this game bro next news item also has me hyped row company is getting an official ps5 release date march 30th is when the game will be coming to the playstation 5 you can play the game on your ps5 it looks good runs good looks good but it's still the ps4 version i think the ps4 pro version but we're going to be getting a ps5 optimized version for the game coming in 
four days. I will check it out, see how it runs on the 5. Um, and this new PS5 version will have a 4K 60 frames per second mode and a 4K 120 frames per second mode, which is crazy. So I can't wait to try it, Roll Company. Game is lit, it has crossplay, so it doesn't matter what system you have it on. All right, dudes, those are all of the items I have for this video. Oh! Marvel, the last bonus news item. I forgot to talk about this. How can I? Marvel has explained, because I, I've heard people say, why don't we have Spider-Man yet in Marvel's Avengers? They have said that the, the game had an imperfect launch, and that's the reason for delayed DLC, that the game at Crystal Dy that the team at Crystal Dynamics had to shift focus and fix bugs rather than look ahead. So they wanted to make sure the game itself runs good, fix all the bugs before they add any extra characters. Makes sense. I'm liking the game. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. Can't wait for this DLC right here. Block Papa. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. More. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.